Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Music Theory Tuition series where I work with you step by step through the ABRSM Discovering Music Theory grades. I'll work through every single exercise and explain everything you need to know. You can access information about the books I have available to help you on my website. Go to SharonBill.com. For advert free and longer lessons, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill. If you can give me a like, that would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Sharon Bill. We move on now to page 13 of the grade four Discovery Music Theory workbook. Moving on to exercise seven, where we get further opportunity to determine whether a, a little extract of music is either compound or simple time. And then we need to decide if there are two, three or four beats per bar. And so the way that the music is grouped will tell us that. And so let's just think about this. Now it's confused by the fact that we have an upbeat, an anacrusis, and then that's going to be reflected in the last bar potentially, because whatever is missing in this first bar is kind of balanced out in the last bar. So in actual fact, we've only got these middle bars that will tell us exactly, because we're getting a slightly incomplete picture here and here. So let's look here. Now we can see that this here is looking, we can see that it's in groups of threes, crotchet beats. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here we have one, two, three. Here we only have two, but the missing beat is here. Because if you remember an anacrusis, it sort of loops at the end of the piece ordinarily. Often it's reflected throughout each phrase as well. So we've really only got these inside bars to tell us. However, it's enough because we can see one, two, three, four, five, six crotchet beats grouped in dotted minims. So there's our time signature. And we know that there are two dotted minims. We know that this is compound time. And because there are two dotted minims, it's compound duple, just as six over eight is compound duple as well. And then let's try this next one. In fact, by all means, do go ahead and just try the remainder of exercise seven. Just go for it and have a little go. Uh, it's always better to learn by your mistakes, as I say, I know. So do work in pencil and then you can just erase it out and have another go. If it doesn't quite work to plan, you'll learn it much more thoroughly that way. However, exercise 7b nicely tells us straight off, we can see we're in groups of three. You can see a group of three quite easily there. You can see there we're in compound time. We need a little bit more thinking here, so let's just be thorough. This is everything we need actually, but We'll just squeeze every drop out of this. So we know that two demi-semis make a semi-quaver, two demi-semis make a semi-quaver. So we have one, two, three semi-quavers. And then here, of course, the quaver divides into two semis and the dots another. So there's our one, two, three. So we can see one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now here, let's just look at this. Although we don't need to because we've done the work, let's just do so. This last note is one, two, three semi-quavers because a quaver divides into two semis and then the dot gives us another one. We know that two demi-semis makes a semi. And then here, because that's a semi-quaver, Half of my, that is a demi-semi, going out of space. And then with this demi-semi, that gives us a quaver, a semi-quaver. So we have one, two, three 
semiquavers there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, everything there confirms that. And so we know that we're in compound time and there are two groups of three. It's duple, there are two beats per bar, each beat here being a dotted quaver. And so just as six over four is compound duple, so is six over 16, we've just gone into much smaller units of time. Now here, this one, this is the first bar this, that will give us the answer nice and easily. So we can see we've got everything beamed together. So that in itself is a clue and we can see there's a quaver, there's a quaver, there's a quaver. So that's enough to tell us it's 3 8. We can see that this bar here, a crotchet divides into two quavers, there's a quaver. And then we don't really need to do this but let's look at this. There's a quaver. Now there's a quaver, half of that is a semi-quaver and then half of that again is a demi-semi which with this demi-semi gives us a semi-quaver so we have quaver and then here the two dots and the demi-semi gives us a quaver and there's a quaver as well and so it's simple time, this is the one we need to just be careful of because um, we can't just count one dotted crotchet beat per bar and uh, there are three quaver beats it's literally as simple as it says easy as simple time and there are three beats per bar so it's triple there we go and then finally for this exercise what do we have here well here's a clue we can see that we're in compound time. Now this is two in the time of three, so actually that makes it quite obvious as well. We know that a dotted minim could divide into two dotted crotchets. There's a dotted crotchet, and that with that will give us a dotted crotchet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six quaver beats per bar. And just as we've seen before, we know that six, four, six, sixteen, six, eight, they are duple time compound because we're in groups of three. So once again, compound duple. There we go, and so let's move on to exercise eight. So in many respects, the thinking's done for us here. We've got the time signature, we've got all of the notes, we just need to carefully count them so that we can put the bar lines in the correct place. So do go ahead and just try that. We're literally just counting out. In many respects, we don't have to worry about whether it's compound or simple, we literally just need to count the correct number of beats, just get the maths right. Performing it, of course, is another story. So I'm hoping that you've had a go with this. So let's go on and just complete this. So we know that there are four beats per bar. Each beat is a quaver. Now this is an incomplete bar. And so we may find that the last bar is going to just complete that anacrusis. So we may just have a little bit here. So let's think about what's going on. So semi plus semi equals quaver, semi plus semi equals quaver, quaver, quaver. There's bar one, quite short bars. We've only got four quaver beats. However, it's surprising how many notes you can squish in, isn't it? So we know that two demi-semis make a semi-quaver and two semi-quavers or four demi-semis make a quaver. There's a quaver, there's a quaver. And then here we have a quaver, a semi-quaver. And then the dot after that will be a demi-semi worth, which with this one here, so the dot and the demi-semi give us another semi-quaver. And so those two will give us a quaver. So what um one, two, three, four, there's our bar line. And actually the way it's beamed helps as well. So we can see quaver, quaver, 
quaver, quaver. Remember the beam in half bars, so we can just see first half, second half, like crotchet, 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 crotchet. So without even counting crotchet, crotchet, we can double check that. But we can we know that four semi quavers equals a crotchet, crotchet. And here, yes, indeed, we are half a bit missing, and that's made up at the beginning to level out the maths for the anacrusis. So now we have nine crotchet beats. So we know that a dotted minim gives us three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Quite a big bar, isn't it? So there is our first. Of course, it's grouped in threes. Group one, group two, three groups of three. However, we don't really need to concern ourselves with that unless you just find it helpful to visualise. I sometimes just see it in the groups. You see group one, group two, group three. However, by all means, just count out and be sure. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three crotchet beats. And so there's our bar line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then here, we know that that's worth one, two, three crotchet beats. And then this is two dotted minims, which again is one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three. And so we know we're correct. And so let's just have a look at this final exercise 8C where we're counting 12 semiquavers, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And by all means, you can just count each semiquaver to add up to 12. But we know that that's going to be four dotted quaver beats per bar. And so we know that a dotted crotchet is worth two dotted quavers. And then we have a quaver and two semiquavers, two demi semiquavers, which gives us a semiquaver. So there's our dotted quaver. And then we have again here, we have a semiquaver, which gives us the dot, gives us a demi semi, with the demi semi gives us another semiquaver, another semiquaver. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, so that's that bar. But you can also see that the beaming does the job for you. So we can see there's a group, there's a group. We can see that's a dotted crotchet, that's two groups. So we can see one, two, three, four. So really, at a glance, you can see one, two, three, four. Let's just check the maths though. One, two, three semi quavers to a dotted quaver. Now here we have a semi-quaver. The dot is a demi-semi, which with this demi-semi gives us another quaver. Two demi-semis equals a quaver. Quaver equals two semi-quavers, which with this rest gives us another. So there's another group. And then we see the same here. Two semis is one quaver and then a semi quaver gives us another one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's our bar line. But again, you can see group one, two, three, four. And so here we have one, two, three, there's a group. One, two, three, there's a group. One, two, three, there's a group. And then one, two, three, there's a group. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four groups, there's our bar line. The beaming does that work for us. And then finally, we have a, a quaver which gives us two semi-quavers. Two demi-semis is another semi-quaver, so that's that group. One, two, three, and then we have one, two, three semi-quavers in this dotted quaver. And then the same again in a dotted quaver rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, that's that page completed. Phew. I hope this is helpful to your studies. Please do like and subscribe to stay updated. If you'd like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee. And for advert-free lessons, you can become a patron. Do visit my website where you'll find many resources available to help you. Visit SharonBill.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.